All right, babies, it's that time again. Oh yeah. I love doing this. Why? Because I'm more concerned about you than me. And that just makes me happy and the spirit just like immediately starts moving in me and I immediately feel good. I feel peaceful. I feel like I have motivation. I feel hopeful. I mean, I just love doing this. It's just ridiculous. Well, it's really not ridiculous. It's the sign of what life is. We need to be giving to each other. So, yesterday, I got into that famous chapter of the New Testament, Romans 3. Yeah, baby. And it's so cold out, I'm going to stop and put on my gloves because I've got the heat fan turned down. Da -da -da -da. So, yeah. Um, Romans 3 is all about it's like Paul's kind of showing off his legal um, chops and describing that's a it's a benefit to be Jewish because the law was given to them and the prophecies were given to them and it's not any uh, you know there's no uh, what's the word it's not better to be either Jewish or non-Jewish because faith in Jesus has unified everyone because we all are in need of access to God and the support of the spirit and the only way we get that is by recognizing we need to be forgiven for who we are and our nature that just tends to go the wrong way. Uh, yeah. And so it's, it's really kind of complicated uh, if you read the chapter, but it, it's... It, ex it shows Paul's brilliance as a legal, uh, a legal mind. Um, and just kind of showing that, you know, it's the law that brings attention to our need. You know, it's kind of like a mirror, you know. So this is what God expects. And this is, I mean, you don't line up with this, basically. <laughs> And then Jesus thankfully brings us, not only gives us access to God, but that we actually become a habitation of God. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. I just am so happy to be a home for Jesus. Yeah, that's basically it, honey. That is basically it. You know, no matter what the circumstances are, and believe me, I know what dire circumstances are. By having this relationship and cultivating it and making it the most important thing in your life, and not just the relationship, but the desire for his characteristics to come to full fruition in you. That's where it's at, sweetheart. You can't just be like, oh, I have this great relationship with God. Oh, he forgives me. Oh, I believe in Jesus. Yes, Jesus set me free. 
God loves me. How loving are you? How faithful are you? How patient are you? You know, how is discipline shown in your life? You know, you got to want that just as much as you want to be in good standing with him and you know feel the fluidity of the exchange between the two of you it's got to be like a, a oneness there honey so yeah I am so thankful for that because I kind of woke up this morning kind of feeling like eh feeling a little bit uh, shaky, not real excited, because I was kind of focused on my circumstances t too much. And just, and, and, you know, and just in a blinking of an eye, all of a sudden, I just got the peace of God as if somebody opened up a window and a fresh breeze came through and refreshed my very soul. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. So it's good just to be open and let the spirit move you. And if he wants you to be quiet, you're quiet. Very often, I'll just like start singing and it'll immediately like bless me. Even if it's like a, you know, not a very good song. <laughs> just kind of like a simple little mel melody. But the fact that I'm singing it because I love God and I'm thankful for what he's done for me, it just immediately is like a blessing because I feel like, you know, he loves it. And I have the feeling that he loves it. And then it makes me want to sing more because he loves it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we over-spiritualize God, you know? You think like, oh, well, God is the creator of the whole earth. He doesn't have time to be worried about are concerned about me and my finances or me and my, uh, you know, he's got bigger things to be concerned about other than little old me kind of a thing. No, it's, it's just not that way. That's the beauty of God. He's, he's ready to show you how much he loves you. He is ready, 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 ready. Yeah. So sometimes I'll just sing and tell you how I love you. There's no one else above you. You just make me so glad. So I will lift my voice To show you how I love you For you to show me how you love me And I'll forever be with you And you'll forever be You and me, always together, happily. You, you take me where I am, you love me where I am, and you move me so close to you.